Today we are testing out more Proton Windows Gaming on the Mac with Asahi Linux. So if you didn't already know, Asahi Linux is an open source project to dual boot Linux on M series Macs, not emulating and not through a virtual machine, but running bare metal on ARM chipset Apple Silicon. And this is a huge project composed of a small team of volunteers reverse engineering Mac hardware without any support from Apple. And the Asahi team recently released a huge update which now allows us to play Windows games on the Mac through Proton, the same technology that allows Windows games to run on the Steam Deck. This is the despite Apple Silicon Macs using a completely different CPU architecture and having to overcome significant challenges like the creation of Vulkan 1.3 Honeycrisp drivers and providing 4K page support through the ingenious use of micro virtual machines. And the results are extremely impressive, bearing in mind that we are running through so many translation layers. And today I'm gonna to be demonstrating 12 more Proton games being tested on Asahi Linux and showing how well they can perform. I'll also be answering some questions like, when is ray tracing support happening? And is Asahi Linux worth installing to game on your Mac right now? Today's video is sponsored by Factor. So a lot of my audience know that I've been trying to achieve a better work-life balance and I'm really focusing on getting more fit and healthy. So I've been hitting the gym and last week I even ran my first ever half marathon. Them. Now exercising is amazing for your body, but it needs to be paired with healthy, delicious food. And who has time for that? And that's where Factor steps in. Factor takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success. Skip the grocery store's prep work and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. Factor now offers loads of snack options like breakfast smoothies, juices, small bites, and more to keep me going no matter what's on the schedule. And when things get hectic, Factor is flexible. Change your order up every week with plans from four to 18 meals per week, or pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. Use the coupon code ANDREWOCT50 or click my link to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. And big thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. First up, we are looking at Doom 2016 once again. I've managed to fix some of the color issues with my HDMI capture, and I've also managed to get a bit of the audio as well. Here we're running the game on OpenGL 4.6 at 1440p at the high graphics preset, and we're getting something like 30 to 45 FPS, which isn't too bad. And this is especially good because this game can't be run on a macOS side through Wine or through a virtual machine, and it's definitely one of the best performing games that I've seen on Asahi Linux so far. Next, we're looking at Fallout 4. So this is a DirectX 11 game, which is being played on Asahi Linux via DXVK and Proton. So here we're playing at 4K medium graphics settings. And I couldn't actually select any other resolution or graphics preset because of issues loading up the Fallout 4 launcher, similar to problems with New Vegas and Skyrim. And this is due to problems with the window management system called Sommelier, which is actually gonna be phased out in the near future. In fact, I'd say one of the main issues with running Steam through Asahi Linux is this Sommelier window problem, which when it crashes seems to bring down the entire virtual machine. Nevertheless, we can still play Fallout 4, just can't select the resolution properly. Here it's running at a very decent 4K at about 50 to 60 FPS. Next up, we are playing GTA 4. So performance on Asahi Linux is super impressive, especially considering that this is a DirectX 9 game, which is 32-bit only. And running this through Wine on macOS is not an ideal experience. There are a ton of hacks involved in getting 32-bit games working on the ARM64 chip. If you want any kind of playable performance on macOS, then you want to be running through a Windows 11 ARM virtual machine instead, which offers much better performance. So what's interesting is that the performance of this game on macOS through Asahi Linux is very good. My theory is that this performs well because it's a combination of both methods is both running in a micro virtual machine and it's also making use of wine in the form of Proton. And we also get to take advantage of DXVK, the DirectX 2 Vulkan graphical translation layer. Next up, we're running Cyberpunk 2077. So this isn't supposed to be supported by the current Vulkan 1.3 drivers. However, the only reason we can actually boot this game is because it doesn't make use of the full DirectX 12 features. It uses what's called feature level 11 only, so we can actually boot this up. However, as you can see, performance leaves a lot to be desired it's not in a playable state even on the M1 Max chip. If you ran this through Wine on macOS, you'd very likely get something closer to 60 FPS at the same resolution and settings. Appropriately here, we're actually testing on Cyberpunk Steam Deck preset, which is pretty low end. And experience is pretty stuttery. We're only getting about 10 to 15 FPS at best. Also, you can see the telltale signs of a Vulkan rendering issues, for example, the pink icons. There's a lot of work left to be done on this. I'm sure performance will improve in the near future. Next up, we are looking at Subnautica. 
So there is a Mac port of this game, but it doesn't perform particularly well. That's because it uses Metal, which is Apple's graphics API. Here we're running the DirectX 11 version of the game through DXVK and Proton. Here the performance isn't too bad. We're running at 1200p at high. We're getting about 30 FPS or so. Next, we're looking at the huge open world RPG Kingdom Come Deliverance. So this is a pretty demanding game. It doesn't run very well through crossover on game porting toolkit on the macOS side. Here we're getting decent performance. It's actually running at 720p, although it's being upscaled to 1080p and we're running under low graphics preset and we're getting about 45 fps and this isn't too bad considering that this is a pretty demanding open world game the next we're looking at hellblade senua's sacrifice so this is the first game in the series which still manages to look really gorgeous even today we are playing at 1200p at the medium graphics preset and it still manages to look really good i know that this game works via crossover on d3d metal and if you run it on an m3 chipset then you can also enable ray tracing as well however even without it this game manages to look pretty amazing reflections are all accurate rendered. There isn't any kind of significant stuttering. I think that's partly to the fact that the Vulcan shaders are compiled before the game even starts, which is definitely an advantage over running this on macOS. So next we're going to look at a couple of games which don't actually work very well on Asahi Linux, but do actually boot. So this is Beyond Two Souls. So the opening cutscenes seem to work okay, but the faces don't render correctly. You just get these kind of black artifacting, which is a real shame, and the frame rate is pretty low. And later on you can tell that the levels are loading, however none of the lighting is coming up, which is a real shame. Next we're looking at Batman Arkham Knight and despite this being an older Unreal Engine 3 game it still manages to look really good it's actually quite demanding still. Now I can tell that the game will actually work however it seems to crash after about 30 to 60 seconds after loading up a level. And this is a shame because I know on the macOS side when trying to run this through crossover it suffers from very severe micro stutters which don't seem to happen on Asahi Linux but it always seems to crash just after less than a minute of gameplay which is a real shame. And I did check it doesn't just happen in the gameplay I also started new game here and it does the same thing. It feels like it's probably some kind of memory issue. Anyway, I hope this gets fixed in the future. So next I'm going to do an FAQ whilst I play two pretty much flawless 2D games running in the background. So firstly, what Macs are supported? So currently only the M1 or M2 generation are supported at the moment. Support for the M3 and M4 chipsets will come, but they're prioritizing other things, including full DirectX 12 support, which I'm sure you'll agree is a bit more important. So next question is, is ray tracing supported? Well, this is a follow-up to the last question really, because the M1 and M2 generations don't have hardware ray tracing support. We'll need to wait until the M3 and M4 generations are supported by SI Linux. If you listen to Alyssa's talk, she basically says that it's more of a priority to get games running at 60 FPS than it is to get a ray trace game running at say 10 FPS. Anyway, I expect once desktop versions of the M4 get released, like the Mac Mini or the Mac Studio, then I think that support is going to come after that point. So next question is, can you install Asahi Linux onto an external solid state drive? Currently, this isn't supported due to limitations in their bootloader. However, it's a feature that's planned to be added in the future. Personally, I don't think it's a big deal. Just install Asahi Linux internally. And if you want to save space, you could just allocate as little as 70 gigabytes to the Asahi partition. So the next question is, do anti-cheat games work? Well, a lot of anti-cheat software detects whether you're running a Windows game through a translation layer and will explicitly block it. However, there are exceptions for certain platforms. So for example, the Steam Deck can actually run the game Apex Legends, which uses easy anti-cheat through SteamOS using Wine through Proton. So you might think that this is a similar setup that could be duplicated on Asahi Linux. So I did manage to test out Apex Legends and unfortunately I was not able to load up or connect. And that's because the easy anti-cheat software detects that we're running the game on an ARM64 host. So the M-series chips are all ARM chips, of course, whereas something like the Steam Deck is running an x86 CPU, so it doesn't suffer the same problems. So anyway, I don't really see this situation changing very much in the future. However, there are some developments with anti-cheat and ARM CPU architectures. Battle Eye recently added support for Windows 11 ARM, and they can actually work on Mac hardware using virtual machine software called Parallels. If you're interested, then check out the link in the description. The last question is, should you be installing Asahi Linux for gaming? on an Apple Silicon Mac. So Asahi Linux itself is in a great state. It's come a huge way since its first alpha. However, if you're trying to use this for actual gaming, then just be prepared for some frustration. The Steam Virtual Machine crashes pretty frequently when you load it up. Hopefully when the window management tool Sommelier gets superseded by something a little bit more stable, then this is gonna be a lot more playable. And frankly, the majority of games that I tried to run couldn't actually run on Asahi Linux. If you wanted a more
more stable and polished experience for Windows gaming on a Mac, then I do recommend using Crossover, where games like Cyberpunk 2077 run at full resolution and at high frame rates. However, at the end of the day, out of all of the gaming options that are available on the Mac, whether it's native Mac OS gaming or gaming through translation layers and virtual machines like Parallels and Crossover, Asahi Linux has the most potential to be able to play the most number of games. And therefore, even if you don't use Asahi Linux right now, if you're invested in Mac gaming, then you should definitely be supporting the project. Anyway, really big thanks to the Asahi Linux team, especially Alyssa, Markan, and Asahi Lina. The work that they've done is absolutely incredible. I'll leave a link to their Patreon and their GitHub pages in the description. The future of Mac gaming on Linux is really exciting, and I hope that this develops further. Anyway, if you want to see more, make sure to check out my other video about Proton Gaming on Asahi Linux. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.